Hi there, this is Andrew Freeman from the Walk with a Doc program in the Denver area. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about heart rate. So as many as, you, as many of you know, heart rate is a very important measure of your physical fitness. As you can imagine, as you become more fit, your heart rate will get lower and lower. And it's not uncommon for an athlete when at rest to show up with a heart rate in the 40s and not really notice it. As your heart becomes more efficient and stronger, every beat that is produced will pump more blood uh, in a more effective and efficient manner than those that are out of shape. So, for instance, I may see some very significant uh, elevations in heart rate, say in the 90s or more, when at rest in someone who is very deconditioned, who has lung disease or heart disease, and has not been exercising regularly. So, the next question is, what should I do for heart rate? So, unless you're really training for a long race or an elite athlete, I really wouldn't worry much about your heart rate. Obviously, check with your doctor first, but in general, uh, your heart rate is going to simply be a reflection of how much uh, exercise you do and what shape you're in. So if I take someone who is significantly obese with uh, significant lung and or heart disease, their heart rate might go up to 180 with a simple walk around the room. But if I take an athlete and have them do a simple walk, they, he may only go up to, say, 100 beats per minute. So what I would suggest is not really focusing on your heart rate. Obviously, I wouldn't want you to go much above 200 beats per minute. But in general, the way you know you're working hard enough with exercise is not by heart rate, but how you feel. You should be short of breath, sweating if it's warm enough, and unable to complete a sentence, meaning you can't say more than a word or two without stopping. As a result of this, I would uh, recommend in general that you not wear a heart rate monitor and not check your heart rate too often unless you're not feeling well, at which point you should stop and uh, sit down and uh, rest, and you might need to see your doctor at that point. For those of you that are elite athletes, the heart rate recommendations are 85% of maximum predicted heart rate, which is roughly estimated by taking your age uh, and taking 220 and subtracting your age from it, and then multiplying by 0.85 to get the 85% mark. But for the vast majority of people who are using walk for fitness in a routine way as opposed to elite athletes, heart rate should matter less. So we hope to see you on the walks, and we'd be happy to check your heart rate and blood pressure. So come see us at Walk with a Doc. Thanks.